The cinema is like religion in India. If you go to the south side of India, you will see that most of the politicians and chief ministers and people, they were ex-actors or writers or filmmakers. So, you know, there's a whole lot of India which is still in the villages. For them, what they see on screen, they believe it. So that's the country we come from, where cinema business is not funded by institutions. It's funded, privately funded. The producer is a person who puts in his own money and makes a film. And when the film goes out and does business, he earns his money back. So it's an individual business for many, many, many people in India who make cinema. So the whole perception of a producer who just organizes money is very different in the rest of the world. But in India, producer is the person who will put in his own money or borrow or even mortgage his house to make a film. That's what people do to make films in India. And that cinema has a lot of following. The good and bad thing about Indian cinema is that Indian cinema is self-sustainable. An Indian film does not need to sell one single ticket to a non-Indian to sustain itself. And that's very good for the business, which is why Indian cinema is very strong. The bad thing is that's also the reason why Indian cinema does not grow. Because we're catering to the same audience all the time, making the same film all over again. Now what has happened in the last few years is there's a whole lot of independent movement that has come into Indian cinema. There's a lot of these new young voices who are coming out and doing their own thing. And these films are now getting released in India. And they're also traveling to the festivals world over. They're finding release outside, like Q's Gandu was a film that released in Germany. And now it's going to release in some other parts of Europe. A whole lot of my film finally found a release in France. After years, 12 years, I have finally had one film that released in France. So there's a whole lot of new stuff happening and perception of the world is also changing towards us. Bollywood is not everything. We make films in Tamil Nadu, in Kerala, in Andhra Pradesh, in Maharashtra. We make films in 22, 23 different languages in India. And they, all these, it's almost like Europe. India is like mini Europe. So these states are like different countries where they all have their own original inherent rooted culture which is different from each other and they make films. And most of these films are breaking new grounds. The most of the films from India which are actually breaking new ones, there's a Konkani film which won the award at Toronto, was the first Konkani film ever. So likewise, there's a lot of these little, little movements happening in spurts across India. And I think that time is not far where Indian cinema will really come of age. And there will be Bollywood and it will always be there. Our mainstream cinema will always exist. Our songs and dance will always exist because we cannot do without them. But the other voice, the interesting new voice, will also coexist with them. And that's what is happening with Indian cinema.